What's up guys, this is Ferdinand here with a little tutorial which I'm starting Christmas Day pretty much, it's New Boxing Day um, but thought I'd do it anyway it's going to be a, begin a beginner's guide sort of to 3D animating um, and that so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just run through basically this tutorial, how to use Cinema 4D um, <coughs> for you know animations and that now you're going to need probably two animations uh, sorry, two animations, two programs, one will be um, Cinema 4D and Endorphin. Now I don't know where you can get Endorphin for free, but there are some on the uh, on YouTube because I got mine from YouTube, but I can't find the video again. So you just may have to just look around. I'm afraid um, I can't give you that because I don't know where it is. But anyway, we're gonna get into it. Not make it long. Um, so first of all, what you're gonna do is to start 3D animations. You're gonna need the character. Now, if you don't know what to do, you you know you 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 start starting Cinema 4D. What you want to do is you want to get a character. So you can go to I don't know, just say you get one off my channel. The reason I recommend getting them off my channel, not because you give me more views or anything, that would be nice, yes, but I I the way that I sort of organise them is easy to use. If I just download one, say from I don't know. Uh, 3freedmodels.com. I'm actually going to show you the difference between getting. Actually, not. I'm just going to go facepunch.com. Facepunch is a lot better. So, facepunch. This is you can wait. This you can get some good models here, but they are not, you know, organised right. So, uh, we want a release. So, uh, Medal of Honor. There we go. Um, this is release. Uh, take it. You just click on the picture and it'll download. Okay. So I'll just click on that. It's gonna download. Okay. The tech 50 net is now download. Uh, I don't know how long that would take. But anyway, while that is downloading, I'm gonna run through basically one of my models. So you can even go to. Uh, oh yeah. I'll just go through this. Basically, um. Open is obviously when you open a project, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Kirill because that's the first one. You can either open up a new one or you can merge. And what it does is it opens up two projects in one basically. So if I want to have this project and another project all in one, I'll just go to merge and I'll just go to Vladimir. And then it'll import the Vladimir project as well. And then you can, you know, that's how you can bring sort of a lots of projects together. So if it if it's lagging a bit, do the animation in a project, save it. Do another ma animation in another project, and then just import them. You know, stuff like that. But anyways, oh, we're gonna get a model which I will use for this one, for this tutorial. I will go to Call of Duty characters, and. I'm going to use the Black Ops 2 one, which will be the Russian Afghanistan model. Shit, no, I'm not because the textures aren't on. Can't be asked. Ah, no, I will do this because I need to teach you. So basically, when you get your model, you basically open it up. You get something like this. People, the most common question is, my person's black. You know, what do I do? These three render buttons up here. Click the one on the left. It says texture error. And you can see these are all the textures that are missing. Simple as, you just got to reload the textures, double click on the texture, as you see it's black, click on the little button, go to the Rus Russian Afghanistan folder where the textures are, click on the name and enter and it, it will automatically find it in this folder. So it will remember it, so you just got to quickly just, not quickly, but just click on here, enter and it will automatically find it. So if you do that, for every single Texture you need on this play on a player model, I don't know. Um, then you'll see him come together. Okay. So sorry that I'm. Um, I probably won't talk much. I'm just sort of concentrating, trying to get this done as quick as I can. Um, I've missed something. Yep, the colour. There we go. The colour on here. The normal. And the specular colour. So that's all good. 
Okay, it's specular color, normal, and color. So I'm just quickly loading in the textures. Um, as you can see, these are really shiny, these textures, but when you come to render it, it's all good. It's just the specular maps, which is specular color, which is making it have that shine. But when it comes to render, it's, it's nice and awesome, shall I say. Uh, if there's background noise in the, you know, if there's noise in the background, shall I say, I apologize. Black Ops is on, but um, so yeah, we're nearly done. Just got to do these last few textures. You know, what I could have done, I could have just done all the colors just to get you know, save myself a bit of time, but why not do it all? Show you everything in detail, no point skipping bits. Okay, so now we've got our textures in. That's the first thing you got to do is when you get your model, make sure your textures are fine, and when you come to render it, um, shit. The eyes, I've missed the eyes out. Here we go. Now, if you see here, I clicked and it said C Gen I. So I know that's an I because it's, it says I. Fucking, you know, <laughs> genius. <laughs> so then you just want to load all them in again. All your specular colors, your normals. And those were the three that were missing. Um, okay, that one stays black. But yeah, then there's no texture error. And it renders nice and lovely. And that's obviously with lighting. If I take that off, it'll just be a nice, quick, right, shitty render. But it's still good. It's still good. Um, so what I'm just, I'm just going to delete that lights for now. We don't need that. Um, <laughs> so we've got our model. Now we want to animate it. First of all, we need to rig it. So I'm going to quickly go through this rigging, and then I'm going to um, end it and then start a new part. Otherwise, my recorder will fail. But if you really do want to go into an in-depth rigging tutorial. If you type in rigging in my YouTube channel, it's uh, not rigging a skeleton. You can either do easy rigging tutorial. Um animating characters part one rigging or you can try the new rigging system. But I'm just gonna quickly go through it now. There is actually my bad an already uh, a skeleton which I can provide. Um, rigging a skeleton, I think it's rigging a skeleton tutorial, I'm not sure, but if not, I think you should do it yourself. Because um, then you know how to do it. So what you're basically going to do is go to character. You want to go to joint tool. Now, first of all, before we start anything off, anything off we want root null selected. That basically is going to start us off on the root. Um, so I don't know how to explain it really, but that's what you should do when you start. So you start off with his waist. So click on his waist. Oh, sorry. Hold control and click on his waist. And then what we can do is we can hold control again and we can, you know, start building up his his body. So we're going to move it to sort of his waist now. Maybe up to his, uh, just below his chest, up to his chest, to his neck and to his head. Then we're going to click that. Um, to get to these different views, you want to click your scroll key, which is in between your left and right mouse button. Um, if on a laptop, I'm not sure what it is, but because I've got a desktop. So you just want to click that, and it comes up with these four points. Just hover over which one you want and click it again. We want to go to side view this time, and what we're going to do is click on this little tool here, and this will able, a, enable us to move things. So we're going to scroll down the points and make sure that our bones are lined up into his spine and into his head. So that looks nice. It, the bones run through his body and then run through his neck and then to the top of his head. Now you want to click on the hold this down, hold the left mouse button and go back to the joint tool. We'll go to character and joint tool again. Check off root null. We don't need this anymore. Uh, don't need this anymore because if I hold control and I'm going to start it again. Um, no, if I do have it checked on and start it again, it starts a new skeleton. But we don't need that. So we want to take that off. And say we want to add some legs. We don't want to do them both separately. To make it easier, we're going to want to add symmetry. So, drop down to symmetry, go to symmetry, none, and click draw. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom joint, which is just normal joint. Hold control, and then we're going to go out. Bring him out to about here, down to his knees, and down to his feet. And then we're going to just check on the move tool. And then get his... Uh, sorry. Um... Yeah, we'll just do them individually. Get his knee there, and that's the back of his foot. And the same with the other. And 
to his foot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Joint Tool, and we're going to go to Control, and Control, and just do his toes. But we are going to move this up slightly, just so it's in the middle of his foot. And we're going to, as you see here, this is a problem that I have. I don't know why, but what you just want to do after that is select that that joint. What the hell is this? We don't need this, so we'll delete that. Select the joint, go to front view, and just move that back into the middle, just so that's in his foot. And you can do the same for the other foot. So go back to the joint tool, make sure root null is off. Um, actually, we'll take off symmetry for this one, and we'll do the same. And again, the problem, so we'll just select the move tool, and we will bring it back to his foot. So now what we have is his legs and his body done. Now we're going to do his arms. So we're going to select this, oh, sorry, this little bone here. So if we close down the legs, and we go up each of his joints, so it will be this one. That's where the green sort of lines start. This is where we will connect his shoulders. So if we go back to our joint tool, add symmetry, make sure root null is off again. Hold control, and it, everything will start appearing from this sort of joint here, bring it to his shoulders, then to his elbows, then to his hands. That's all you need to do. Then you want to go to top view. And again, bring his elbow sort of to his elbows and this to his hands. And bollocks, I forgot to turn symmetry back on, but that's no problem. We will sort that out just quickly. We will do this by hand. And to his hands. And you can go along and do the fingers as well if you wish, but that may be a bit time consuming. So now we've got everything pretty much sorted for sort of basic rig. And this is only a basic tutorial, so we're going to drag the root into the Russian Afghanistan model. We're going to click on the root, right click, select children. That basically selects everything underneath. So we've got all these bones selected. You want to hold control, click on the model itself, go to character, commands, and bind. And now he's pretty much rigged. You can move any body. Obviously, here's a little tip. Never use the move tool on a body part. Always use the rotate tool. So yeah, there, there's his um, his body's moving. Now what I usually do is, we don't need to see the skeleton. So what you can do is, where it says root, you've got three little circles here. If you click the top one, out of the, or sort of the two on the right, got a big one and then two little ones. If you click the top one twice, just double click it, like it'll turn red. Uh, if you click it once, it'll turn green. Click it again, it turns red. Click it again, it'll go clear. And it'll just repeat the cycle. Um, if you want to turn that to red, that'll just turn it off. You don't need to see that. And then you can you, know, you can literally work and see the model without anything in, in your way. So there, all we, it's all good. So now we've got him rigged. That's all good. We can start animating now. But I'm going to end it. Uh, which I'll save onto the desktop. Well, I'm going to end it now because obviously I'm going to go over my time um, and it's going to fail, so I sort of keep them short and then in parts. It's a lot easier because you know what you can sort of look for when I name it, you know, rigging, I, 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 you, stuff like that. But anyway, I'm going to come back to part two, you know, I'll probably record it straight after this one, but I don't know when I'll upload it soon after. But yeah, um, please check out the next. Um, part two, shall I say? Um, please like and comment because this could be quite helpful to a lot of people. If you can share it out to everyone, that'd be really great. So I'll see you in the next part. Peace.